This video is on inverse functions. We're going to be focusing on the graphically part of it. We're going to find the domain and range for the coordinate points below. Then we're going to find its inverse and list the new domain and range. So for a hint for the domain and range, we're going to use set notation. Because we only have coordinates, putting them into interval notation is a little more difficult. So the first part, the original, we want to determine what the domain and range are. For this original, domain is, are the x values and the range is the y values. So the domain would be that squiggle bracket x such that x is equal to. Because it's only including certain values, we don't want to put any qualities. I'm going to zoom in on this problem so we can see the numbers. Domain and range should always be done in smallest to largest. So the smallest x value is negative 2, comma, the next one is 1, comma, 5, comma, 6. And then that's all of our x values, and you don't want to repeat any of them. Even if they repeat in here, you don't want to repeat them on the domain. For the range, we're going to do the same thing, but for the y values. So squiggle bracket, y such that y is equal to. Again, we have an equal to because it's not including all the numbers in between them. It's just including the four numbers that we have. So the smallest y value is negative 3, comma 1, comma th positive 3, comma 4. Those are all of our y values. So these are the original domain and range in set notation. The original one is, in is a function because none of the x values repeat. We have four different ones. So it is a function. Now we're going to find the inverse. The inverse, if we remember back from up here, all that's really happening are the x and y values are being switched or they're being flipped. So the x's become the y's, the y's become the x's. So I'm going to rewrite the coordinates so I can get the domain and range quickly. The coordinates are going to be my first coordinate of 1, negative 3 turns into negative 3, 1. Negative 3, comma 1. The signs do not change. I just take the x's, put them in the y location. I take the y's and put them in the x location. The next coordinate will be at 3, comma, negative 2. The next coordinate will be at 1, comma, 5. And the next coordinate will be at 4, comma, 6. Now that we ha I have all the coordinates written out, we can write the domain and range. So the domain, squiggle, x such that x is equal to. The new x values are that the negative 3, the 3, 1, and 5. So negative 3, comma, 1, comma, 3, comma, 4. Sorry, that was a 4, not a 5. What I meant to say. Then our range are the y values. So y such that y is equal to. So these coordinates, the smallest one is negative 2, comma, 1, comma, 5, comma, 6. The x values, we had four coordinates and we have four values for our domain. Therefore, the inverse is going to be a function. Continuing on, on this second example over here, the original, the domain, squiggle, x such that x is equal to, the smallest number is negative 6, comma, negative 5, comma, 1, comma, 10. Those are all of the x values, and we did not repeat any of them. The range, y such that y is equal to, the smallest y value is negative 8, comma, negative 2, comma, 3, comma, 7. Close squiggles. So we had four coordinates and we have four x values in our domain. That means that this is a function. because We have no repeating x values. For the inverse, I need to write out the coordinates. And again, the coordinates will flip. So my first coordinate will be 7, comma, negative 5. Then it will be negative 8 and negative 6, then it will be negative 2, 1, and then it will be 3, 10. Those are all the coordinates of the inverse. 
So now the domain again is the x value is the x values of these coordinates. So x such that x is equal to the smallest x value is negative eight, then negative two, then three, then seven. With a range, we're going to do y such that y is equal to the smallest y value is that negative six, then the negative five, then the one, then the ten. So we have our domain and range, we have four coordinates, and we have four values of our domain. That means that the domain, or this inverse, is going to be a function because we have no repeating x values. So down here we have what happens with the domain and range between the original and its inverse. For this problem, the domain and range for the original, the domain and range of the inverse. The domain is the negative 2, 1, 5, and 6. And if we come down here, the inverse's range is negative 2, 1, 5, and 6. So the domain of the original became the range of the inverse. The range of the original became the domain of the inverse. So just like the x's and y's had to flip, so did the domain and range. Because the domain is the x values of the coordinates and the range is the y values of the coordinates. So if the x's and y's flip, the domain and range have to flip because we now have new x values and new y values. So we can take the original domain and range and then flip those for the inverse. So I could have actually have taken this right here, instead of having to rewrite all of it and think about it, I could have just put my domain from the original as my range for the inverse. I just have to make sure I put it as the range with y's. So to what happens, we can just say that the domain and range flips. So the domain and range flips, just like the x's and the y values. And that would make sense again because domain is x values, range is y values. So if the x's and y's flip, the domain and range would have to.